it is the assignment of the teaching priest to now begin to unveil the new you in light of scripture are we together so that when you have spent two three four five years in church it's not just the names of church members you should know alone you should understand the ways of god the modus operandi of the kingdom with the precision of an expert to the point that when you see someone you can simply diagnose the person's situation using the reference of the knowledge you have gotten in scripture so if someone comes to you and says look nothing is working in my life i mean completely no favor no open doors as a believer who has been properly mentored you should know how to attend to that person and it's not just let's pray mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. based on what you were taught diagnose this situation even as i'm saying it now use your mind to diagnose the situation what would if someone comes to you now and says i cannot sleep there are all kinds of spirits oppressing me i wake up in the morning more tired than i was before i slept what will you do don't answer just think so that even if you are wrong at least you don't feel bad emoji what is going to be the scriptural so remember you are born and you want to go to the nations now here is a specimen what are you going to do you will be surprised how that many believers the only thing they know is okay let's pray father you see this situation help the person in jesus name that's a very sincere approach but the but paul says he that strives for mastery is not crowned unless he strives lawfully you can attain to a point of mastery the same way when you come to meet a consultant while you are shouting and say sir i had a pain and then joint pains he's just smiling at you and sometimes he may not give you the kind of attention you want you can even be angry i'm talking to you about my he says i already know what is wrong with you and he's not lying he will write a prescription and say return back rejoicing after five days Day two, you will call him and say, nothing has changed. He said, just keep doing what I asked you to do. By day five, you are running around and saying, thank you, sir. He said, that's why I'm a consultant. Respect the years of sacrifice. Is someone learning? But many believers are not able to provide solutions because we are not transformed. We are not transformed. We have not submitted ourselves to transformation. In one minute, let me request that you lay your hands on your head and cry to the Lord God of heaven. Father, I contend for transformation beginning from this conference in the name of Jesus. Is someone praying? Lay your hands on your head and decree and declare that every thought line, every thought process that is inconsistent with the values of the kingdom, inconsistent with the will of the king, that it will live your life now and live your life forever wrong cultural ideas wrong sociological ideas ideas that came from sincere people who may not be godly i like you to pray if you truly want to be used by the king to fulfill the agenda of the kingdom there has to be a season of transformation pray one minute in jesus mighty name we pray please look up now respectfully speaking transformation that i talk about is not just technological advancement i think i need to tell you what my idea of transformation is your change which is consistent to the character of christ so you can travel and go overseas and return with another idea which is still an egyptian idea you are not transformed you were only enlightened as far as secular enlightenment is concerned because when we talk of transformation i'm not just talking of moving from a typewriter to a phone i'm not talking of just from typing to swiping no that is important but i'm talking about the character of the kingdom the modus operandi of the kingdom now being embedded in your mind are we together so that your first response to life and its challenges is is as prescribed by scripture this is what we call transformation so many people are becoming western but not becoming kingdom minded or scriptural you can take someone from a village and respectfully speaking take someone from america europe put them together from a technological standpoint there will be east and west apart but from a cosmos standpoint they're all in the same place because they will be tested with respect to scripture are we together 
the second level very quickly so that we wrap up is empowerment I told you that becoming an ambassador or becoming a witness that serves the purposes of the kingdom demands that you pass through this phase of number one transformation number two empowerment why is empowerment necessary we'll talk more of that more on that in the evening you cannot fulfill you cannot achieve the agenda of the king in the strength of the flesh the strength of the flesh cannot achieve the purposes of the kingdom no you are contending against forces of darkness that are determined to ward off the program of God. Jesus himself said, I will build my church. Is that in your Bible? And he says, the gates of hell. So the gates of hell were recognized and acknowledged by Jesus. They are still at work, functional. If God lifts you now and you are the person who will rewrite the narrative of your story, of the, your family, I assure you that Satan is not going to fold his arms and watch you. You need empowerment empowerment say unto God Psalm 66 and verse 3 how terrible art thou in your ways it says through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves the disciples were already transformed but Jesus told them tarry you already have what to say you know what to say but you are not aware of the contentions that will be coming against you listen believers especially if you are called into the fivefold ministry here i submit to you that by all means no matter how enlightened you are seek genuine empowerment before you become a casualty to yourself and to the body of christ you have no idea of the activities of darkness that happen daily to bring down anybody who names the name of christ it takes power to remain if you are called to be a kingdom financier it takes intelligence value relationships to have resources but the bible says strong men retain wealth it takes strength to retain lasting wealth are we together yes most people lack strength that if you turn aside in the day of battle the spiritual diagnosis is that your strength is small empowerment it's a secret that I learned early in ministry and it's an aspect of my life in being a witness and an ambassador that I do not joke with because I realize that to birth the purposes of God with respect to the assignment is committed to my hands is power dependent power dependent mommy it takes power more than compassion to raise children that the devil will not hijack it takes power to take care of five children plus you know how it is in africa 15 others that are connected to you they don't know you but as you rise they will find you they will say i look related to you and they will investigate and say i'm truly related to you <laughs> are we together nobody takes care of himself alone in africa you are joking you just don't know the story but keep rising you get to a point where everybody starts coming to greet you and say we answer the same surname there has to be a connection say power. power one more time say power. power you ask the man of god he will tell you it's taking power to get to this this point and this phase in your life and even in ministry it's taking power to move and the value that god has given him to serve the body of christ is not just intelligence he will tell you some of the challenges that the devil will want to bring there's someone here you're a businessman there's someone here you're a man of god and you think all it takes to excel is sincerity i'm introducing a power component for you this world lies in wickedness it is it is a fact that the someone can get up and say why are you the one rising why are you the one doing well what if you find yourself in a corporation where you are the only kingdom person not just the only Christian but the only one God can depend upon it takes power it takes power genuine power you need empowerment and I believe that in the course of this conference before it is over in the name of Jesus power from on high will rest upon someone and you will see that that is the missing factor in your business your store already have all the products but no power 
So you find out that you are deficient in many ways. You are a man of God. It takes power to command results. Results that will compel the nations to bring glory to the name of the Lord. Beyond the excellency of speech, there must be a demonstration of power. That the faith of the people will not rest upon the wisdom of men, but upon the power of God. Are we blessed it takes power to be rich no wonder the Bible says thou shalt remember the Lord thy God Deuteronomy 8 18 for it is he that giveth thee the power to get wealth why would God mention power and wealth you should talk of power and sickness or power and the miraculous and he uses power for wealth the power to get wealth for the Bible says, except the Lord builds the house. Are we learning? I'm wrapping up. Except the Lord builds a house. The Bible says, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord watches over the city. He said the watchmen watch it but in vain. Please listen to me. He says, it is vain to wake up early in the morning and to sleep late at night. Only to eat the bread of sorrow. He says, but he giveth his beloved sleep. So if you find yourself struggling in your Christian experience, struggling to command results, and do you know, you know that you need empowerment when you have knowledge, but the grace to defend what you know is not there. So you keep saying a lot of things that are correct, but cannot be proven. You have enlightenment, but no power. For instance, Jesus can heal. Jesus can deliver. Jesus can restore. You are right. Now, the sick come but the power to make your speakings come to pass is not there you see and it's dangerous to speak without the power to demonstrate because in the kingdom believers must hear and see if you say the Lord is good they must see that the Lord is good if you say the Lord prospers this is why people are tired of church because they have been hearing and not seeing. Acts chapter 8 from verse 5. The Bible says, And Philip preached Christ in Samaria. And the Bible says, verse 6, That the people gave heed with one accord, hearing and seeing. Hearing and seeing. It's not just to indefinitely keep hoping that the Lord is good. You can taste and see that the Lord is good that you can say I came to this church I was down on my rent my children and as I kept hearing the man of God teach and releasing that grace look what my life has become now do you know let me tell you the truth a personal witness with results is powerful when they healed the man at Gate beautiful when the Jerusalem council summoned Peter, he went with the man who was healed to stand close to him. And they said, we don't have any charge. There's nothing we can tell this man. For many of us, the reason why our territories cannot submit to the governing influence of the king is because they respect the truthfulness of our speakings. But the power component is missing and unfortunately our idea power is so missing in the body of Christ that we have reduced our idea to power to just falling down so the moment someone falls down at least it's justified that I'm anointed doesn't matter what you think about me again at least <laughs> not being sarcastic but it's really funny and laughable are you kidding so when something hits you and you fall down does is that power you know what power is the ability to veto the current realities of men and rewrite their destinies to be consistent with the will of God that is power that you can look at a man who came to church now and that person by evening he will be locked up and you stand and in the name of Jesus you create a climate of favor that in two hours what that man has not gotten in one year comes to him that is power genuine power look what jesus did 10 lepers and he says stand up go and show yourself to the priest the bible says as they went a miracle began to happen there was embarrassment that was imminent in a feast are we together now and he said don't worry i'm here i can solve that embarrassment once and for all and then 
fill six pots. He said, go and serve the rulers. That was the end of it. One time he went to Peter's house and the mother-in-law who should help them was sick. Another embarrassment again. And he went and held her hands and lifted her. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, if you are a businessman, the day you carry power, you can place that contract on the ground and lay your hands. You have been sending an empty paper with ink on it. That's why people are rejecting you. The day you add power, I know what I'm saying. Don't you think I'm just doing Pentecostal talk? No. The power of the Holy Ghost is a very missing component in the body of Christ. Is the reason why we keep talking about so many things. You see now, many people are getting to a point where they are saying, listen, we are tired of church. And the herbalist is saying, I am an alternative. Social media is saying, I am an alternative. All kinds of religions are saying we are alternatives. We can't tell believers to stop going to herbalists and stop going to shrines until we, we offer an alternative that works. Are we together? Some of us here have loved ones who are trusting God for healing. Some of us have been grounded by all kinds of demonic forces. And it is so painful to see a Christian who loves Jesus with all their heart. And, and their love for Jesus is known to all, but they never move forward. That is a bad description of Jesus. And the devil likes such people. So when he finds a sister who is faithful in church, a brother who is serving, they tie down that destiny so that it becomes a portrait that misrepresents God. That is the assignment of power. The assignment of power is to rewrite that narrative. That the brother you were laughing at and saying, look at these church people. He rejected bribe in his office. You would have been a billionaire right now by just signing your signature. But in the name of some Christian thing, you said you will not compromise. And then the God of heaven comes and lifts you. Do you know what it means when God's people are lifted? It is a very strong message that even encourages other believers. Am I right on that? Let me two more minutes. I'm going to request that you lay your hands one more time and say, Lord, where my life has been bankrupt of power, in this season I insist and in this conference I pray the power components that is required to represent your purposes not just in ministry and not just talking of power to heal the sick power to go forward power to go forward in spite of the economy power to make progress in spite of the wickedness of men power to make advancement in spite of tribal sentiments open your mouth and pray pray on behalf of your children pray on behalf of your spouse Someone pray The power to prosper The power for signs and wonders The power to raise The power that brings influence Commanding genuine Consistent Ever increasing kingdom results for the sake of his majesty and for the glory of the king hallelujah keep praying you have won the victory if that is true, it must show in your life. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Death could not hold you down. You are the reason, King. You're seated in majesty. 